Hi babes, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to create this look. It is a very full glam and sultry. And if you guys want to learn how to achieve it, please keep watching. Also, if you have not already, uh, subscribe if you are new. Hi, my name is Erica and I'm fucking glad you're here, bitch. I hope you learned something. And if you do, let me know in the comments. So with that being said, let's roll right into it. All right, guys. So I'm going to be taking the Makeup Shack Muse palette today. If you guys know me, you know this is my favorite palette. And um, for today's look, I don't really want to do anything crazy. Um, if you guys know me, you know that I love like a very full, like sultry glam. I'm a full glam girl. And so lately I've been playing with color, which is cool and all. But I was like, babe, like, can you get your shit together and pull out something that's like you? Does that make sense? I like color, but I don't know. I love like a sultry full glam, if that makes sense. So I'm going to be using the shade Kim, and that is this one right here. And so if you guys are like, well, bitch, what you mean by sultry or whatever? By that, I just kind of mean like, I like looks that are like, I would, I would want to say like wearable. I like colorful looks and all, but sometimes I'm like, girl, you know you can wear it yes but i like i need something that is sultry does that make sense something that's like bitch you looking fine like wine and not too crazy on the eyes that's what i mean so for today's look i'll be doing something simple and by the way i know my hair is a mess i took a shower and my hair is currently still drying um so instead of like blow drying the whole thing i decided to let it like air dry and um later once i'm done with my makeup i'll finish like blow drying whatever needs to be blow dried and so on by the way i'm using the makeup shack t50 i know you guys um i use the t54 highlight but i have two so the other one i use for highlight and this one i'm gonna use to blend that shade on my lid next i'm gonna be taking the shade Reezy, and that is this shadow right here and i'm taking that on a makeup shack t58 and I'm going to focus that eyeshadow more on the outer edge of my eye, but keeping it within the crease. Um, I'm not. I'm going to try to not drag it as forward as I did with the transition shadow. So if you guys are paying attention, I'm kind of just like patting it on first and building that. And then I'll like slightly blend it, blend it out, I mean. I'm over here stuttering over nothing. And if you guys are paying attention, I'm also tapping off the access. I was going to say access. Oh, my God. Um, the access. And that's just so that I don't have so much uh, like product going in or falling out. All right. So now I'm going to be taking the shade Legend. And that is this second eyeshadow right here. And um, honestly, you could stop like this like if you're in a rush and you need to do like a quick cute look i would stop at this throw on lashes finish up my face and call it a day but to me a good look is always bronzed and and like highlighted if that makes sense so you know i did the most bitch and i'm gonna take that shade on the makeup shop t48 brush and literally just lay it all over the front part of my eyelid and if you guys are like girl how the hell did you get this one so bright and this one's not as bright well bitch we're gonna take our mac fix plus spritz on the brush pick up some more eyeshadow and lay it down and then you're like well girl this one still looks a little more highlighted well hold on sis we ain't done here now i'm gonna take my artist couture highlight and I don't want to flip it because I'm probably going to drop some. But if you guys um, haven't seen it, it's a loose powder or a loose highlight. I'm going to take some of that um, highlight. Do you guys see? And I'm going to lay that on top like that on the eyeshadow or the shimmer. And just lay it all over the lid as well. Not all over the lid, all over the front part of the lid. Excuse me probably gonna confuse some of y'all but yeah just on the front as you guys can see if you guys are new to my channel hi bitch my name's erica i'm just kidding but um you guys can use my discount code erica for 20 percent off at the makeup shack 
And girl, we all need to save our coins because trust me, I'll be using discount codes too. So, you know, just, just thought I'd throw that out there. And I just lay that down like that, you know, so it could really stand out and pop. And then I'm gonna pick up the brush I used before, which was the T58, take a little more reason, and just pat that down around the edges to make sure it blends out. Just like that, just like that. All right, so now I'm taking the Makeup Shack Rainforest Palette and I'm taking the black eyeshadow on a Makeup Shack T73. I'm getting ahead of myself, hold up, hold up. It's because I was already doing this one. I almost forgot the eyeliner. So I'm using my favorite liquid eyeliner, which is the Ojos Perfectos Liquid Eyeliner from Araceli Beauty. And I'm just gonna apply some eyeliner just like I did right there and fill that in. Just like this. And you guys see how like easy this eyeliner is to manage. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna take that black eyeshadow and so that I don't have that harsh edge, I'm gonna press that down. And if, if, as you guys can see, it's kind of light. So you just have to build it. Not that the, I mean, black isn't light, but um, black shadow against a black liner will obviously look lighter. So you build it up. So I'm just gonna take, keep taking the black and pressing that down. And I'm gonna gradually kind of bring that upward. And I say gradually because bitch don't go crazy throwing black everywhere and then you're gonna look like a yellow black guy. Think sultry and seductive bitch. Like, your man's gonna lay you down later. I'm just kidding guys, oh my God. I'm sorry. For lashes, I'm using my Glad Glam lashes and these are it in this style Virgo. So you guys can see the name is right there. And this is what they look like. Probably better against the box. But um, to apply that, I'm just using my Makeup Shack Lash Glue. And I do cut my lashes. I don't know if I tell you guys that. I usually do cut them. Uh -uh. Uh, what was I going to say? Some people are like, oh, well, how much do you know how to cut off? Well, you should always measure your lashes on your eyelid before actually putting them on. That way you can see how much you need to cut off because for everyone, it could be different, you know? Everyone's eye shapes are differently. So that is how you would know how much to cut off. And I'm just gonna take that and pop it right on, just like dipped. And I always get asked how I manage to get my lashes on so quickly. Honestly, it just takes practice because I've been doing my makeup for a while now. And honestly, I could never get lashes on like this quick before, but it took practice. Like, trust me, I used to be that dumb bitch with one eyelash, like more in the inner corner than the other. So it just takes practice, like, you know? Now I'm just taking my Pat McGrath eyeliner and I'm adding that to the top waterline on both sides. And trust me, it does make a difference. So I would recommend that you guys try it out. I know a lot of people can't really do the top liner because their eyes are really sensitive when it's going in, but you know, you just gotta try it out. So I'm gonna set my Muse palette aside for right now and I'm gonna just start going in on my face. And by the way, guys, I just realized how fuzzed up and puffed up my hair is. So excuse me for my ugliness. I'm sure I scared some of y'all, but this me in real life, bitch. When my hair is not done. And if you guys are gonna be wondering, like, bitch, what did you just put under your eyes? I just used my, um, <clears throat> what is that thing called? My Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. And now I'm taking the Mario Buttermilk Moisturizer, which I'm kind of out of because no more will come out. So we just gonna take the cap off and scoop some up. So I'm gonna use the Revlon Rose Glow again. Like I said, guys, I just think that the fact that this has like 
shimmer to it is so cool this is a primer but i don't use this like on its own i use this and like another primer i just like that this one has the shimmer because then i feel like it makes my face glow so if you don't like like that shimmery glowy look i would not recommend you use this but honestly i live for it next i'm going to take my Too faced hangover primer and just apply that everywhere everyone always asks me what my favorite primer is and honestly it's probably this one i use other primers all the time like i like to change it up but this is like my favorite for today's foundation i'm going back to my nars guys so i used it yesterday and i was like but no not yesterday i used it like two days ago and i was like why did you stop using it well i stopped using it because i wanted to try other foundations but we're back to using nars for today and i use the shades punjab and vanatu a little more punjab than vanatu because i'm kind of light and fair right now but yeah those are the two shades i'm mixing the sponge is from the makeup shack this is one of the new ones that they came out with so the other new one that they came out with that which i know you guys have seen because i've used it before it's the contour uh sponge but this is the other one and i have been using this one and i realized i never filmed with this one so i was like girl you need to show them off the other new one and this one has like the flat round surface down here so <clears throat> if you guys know me you should also know that this is my favorite sponge like not this one specifically, but all of them because I feel like they're all like the same, just different shapes, you know, so you can do different things with them. Like the contour one, it's a little easier to contour with. Um, but yeah, I really, really, really love the Makeup Shack sponges. I've tried others and probably the only other one I like is the NYX um, Beauty Sponge, the black one. Um, that one I like, the Morphe one, I don't know why, but for some reason I feel like it's too stiff. As much as I wet it, as much as I don't wet it, it's way too stiff for me and I just don't love it. But yeah, if you know me, you should know that this baby right here is a my go-to. Also, I'm gonna be using the Mega Concealers from Moira. And I know I've been using these lately. If you have not tried them, I, I, I'm telling you, go try it. Cause it's worth it. Um, Honestly, I feel like it kind of has like the coverage of the Tarte Shape Tape. And these are only like $10. I mix two shades because, I mean, 100 is good, but I just like, I don't know, I, for some reason I like mixing stuff. If you guys have not paying attention, I'm always mixing things. And it's just become a habit. But um, yeah, I'm taking shade 100 and 1.75 and just applying those all over the place. And I go in with the same beauty sponge. I don't change it out and get a new one. And I just blend that out. And if you guys did not know this, please wet your beauty blender. I'm not sure if I already mentioned this, but it's supposed to be wet. If you didn't know that, newsflash. And I'm saying that because one of my students the other day, sorry to bring you out, sis, but she was using her beauty blender dry. And she was like, what? I was like, what? Like, how are you not wetting it? So, if you don't know, now you know. I'm also going to be doing a cream contour today. But before I go on to do that, I'm just going to set my under eyes so that they don't crease up. And I'm just going to use my RCMA No Color Powder and really press that in. Like I said, I just want to set my under eyes. I'm not going to set my entire face yet. I'll do that after I contour, but you know, I want to make sure I get no creases down here. So I'm just gonna really take that in. Cool. So to contour, I'm gonna use the Mega Concealer from Moira as well in the shade Macchiato. And I'm just gonna apply that everywhere. I brought that so forward, oh my God. I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna take a napkin. I'm just gonna wipe that part off. Oh my God. What did I do? Don't do the same thing I did. That was like a fail. 
you know what, to fix it, I'm just gonna go over that with some foundation. Oh, that's better. Ha 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 ha. It's okay, guys. We're still together. Oh my god. Thank God it fixed. If it didn't fix, I would be so sad right now. Don't take it so far in. And if you guys are like, well, it wasn't that bad. Bringing it all the way over here will make like your face look so not cute. By the way, I just wanted to mention that this is the first time I use this one, like this specific shade. I just ordered the Mega concealers not too long ago. And I don't know, when I was on the website, I thought this shade would kind of fit me. Kind of looks like a little olive toned, but it's okay. We can make it work. Oh, thank God. Guys, I was about to flip out. So I'm gonna just take the Makeup Shack Beauty Slide. Oh, another thing. So the reason why I wanted to fix it before I went into um, going with the contour, like with my sponge, was because I didn't want to get any of the, um, what's it called? That shade on my sponge. So that's why I was like, oh my God, let me get the foundation right now versus trying to like blend it out straight onto the contour, if that makes sense, like that shade. And the shade being like on my sponge and then me like trying to blend it, it's gonna get all over that little area. So that's why I took the foundation. Just in case you guys were like, just blend it out. No, you can't just blend it out because then you're gonna make, you know you're gonna change the shade of your foundation. Okay guys, I feel like this shade might be not dark enough for me to contour unless I need, I, unless I go in with a little more. Because I felt like it blended out like too good. Which is not bad, I guess. Like I can see it, but when I contour, like cream contour, I wanna make sure you know that we can see the cream contour. And I feel like this shade might be too light. Like maybe I could have gone in with a darker um, concealer shade, if that makes sense. I know maybe I was like a little confusing right now, but I'm sorry guys. What I mean is like if I went in with if I went in with a darker shade, it could have probably um, stood out more, like the cream contour. But it's okay because I'm still gonna go in with powder to contour, like on top of this, so it's not a big deal. Like we're okay. Just, I might order a, a darker shade. If there is one, I don't remember what, if that, that was the darkest. I don't think it was the darkest. But I'll order a darker one just to kind of like, it really, ha have it really stand out if that makes sense. And I'm gonna take my Makeup Shop T44 and I'm gonna start blending my nose contour. Okay, so I do want to say this real quick. Whenever it comes to my nose contour, I try not to go dark. So for my face, I'll probably get a darker concealer shade, but not for my nose, because I feel like on my nose, you see how this shade on my nose like kind of is already dark? I feel like the nose is like the center part of your face, and if you go really dark, it's not going to look good. So I'm, sh I'm pretty sure I'm fine with this shade for my nose, but not for my face. For my face, I could definitely go a shade or two darker. And you guys are like, well, I like how it looks. Yeah, well, I kind of like when I do a cream contour, a cream contour should stand out a little more than what it looks like right now. So this is like a subtle cream contour. I want it to stand out kind of like on my nose. You feel me? And I know I kind of like didn't really blend that out. I mean, I blended the like highlighted part on my nose, if that makes sense. But if you guys know, I always go back in with my Silhouette Contour Palette from Makeup Shack and brighten it up with the shade Light, and it is perfect. So I'm not too worried about that right now. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with the RCMA No Color Powder, but all over my face now to set like everything. And I just press it in like this. Next, I'm gonna take my... I've been using the LA Girl one lately, but I want to use a different one. And then I used the Morphe one, I think, in the last clip. So I'll use the MAC Press Powder this time because I used the Morphe and LA Girl one too much this week. 
And it's not a bad thing. I just, I like changing up products if that makes sense. Like I don't like to use the same thing all the time, except for my ABH dip brow. I'll use that every day. And I'm gonna take that on a Makeup Shop T24 and just go in and press that onto my face. All right, so now I'm gonna take the Silhouette Contour Palette from the Makeup Shack. And let me get this area fixed a little bit. I'm gonna use the Makeup Shack 221, which is obviously my favorite brush for that. And I wanna use the shade Buff today. So I'm gonna use this shade. But yeah, I've already used it before and it's kind of dark. So if you do use this one, try to be like light-handed with it because it's really dark if you like go in the way i usually do and i'm like and i'm just gonna apply that everywhere Next, I'm gonna take the Makeup Shop T65 and the shade Light from that palette and just brighten up my nose on the parts that I want highlighted. So see how that like highlighted the tip of my nose? And I also run that down right here. See how that kind of just brought that area back to light? Okay, I feel like my hair is like all dry now and it's like super puffy. It's annoying the crap out of me. So I'm just gonna tie it up. See how I'm like kind of looking bronzed now, guys? I love looking bronzed. So let me set this palette aside now. So now I'm gonna take the Makeup Shack sponge and I'm gonna flip it. And I picked up some of my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just gonna carve out my contour but as you guys can see I'm blending out the RCMA as I do this all right so now we're going to go back to the Muse palette and all the same shadows we used at the top we're going to use them at the bottom so let me get the brush I'm going to use mm. can't find any of them right now I'm gonna use the Makeup Shop a T49. This is kind of a big brush, but a lot of my brushes are dirty right now. And I'm using what I have. I act like I have no brushes. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. All right, so now I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my, uh, what is this called? Pat McGrath eyeliner, but I'm only gonna apply it to the outer edge of my eyes. As you guys can see, I'm just keeping it on the outer edge, like that. And I'm gonna get, oops. I'm gonna take my white liner from NYX and just pop that in the front. And that way that's kind of like more highlighted. Just like that. And I'm gonna take the smaller brush that I use, which was the Make Shop T58, and touch up Reezy once more, right where the white was applied, just in case any of the white eyeliner got on my lashes that are, you know, my bottom lashes or my lower lashes. And then with the same brush, I'm gonna take the black shadow that I used before. And I'm only gonna add that on the outer edge as well. So I'm just smoking it out right there. I don't know if you guys paid attention, but all the smokiness, I was just trying to keep on the outer edges. So if you guys were like, why are you only adding it to the outer edges, girl? That's why. Everything was done with a purpose. I'm gonna take my ColourPop mascara and apply that on the lower lashes and top lashes. And if you guys have been with me, you guys know that for the top, I don't go crazy with it because I don't intend to ruin my lashes with mascara. So I just use the tip. So it's time to do my lips now and I'm gonna use the Morphe Lip Liner in the shade Bite Me. 
And let me just sharpen that because I used it not too long ago. And let me line them up real quick. Now I'm gonna take the shade Let's Cuddle from Dose of Colors. I forgot how peachy that was, whatever. Next, I'm gonna take my Frankie Rose Gloss and Snatched and just lay that on top. And do you guys see how this is like the perfect nude? That's kind of why I didn't mind that the other shade was really peachy. Because I was like, that's going to even it out. And I just do the same thing. And then I take the pencil. And I blend it out again. Like that. And I'm just going to take... You know what? I've been using my Matrix Plus too much. I'm going to use the Morphe Setting Spray this time. And just set everything. Alright guys. And this is the... And result, I'm just gonna go and do my hair because clearly I look naka. <gasps> I can't believe myself, guys. I cannot fucking believe myself. I almost forgot my highlight. I just looked at it and I was like, pendeja. Pendeja. Got the dick on my mind that I can't even freaking remember to put on my highlight. But you know what? I was thinking about putting a Illuminati on, but I feel like I already have that on my eyes. So, uh, I'm going to use Becca. So, this is my one of my favorites because of how golden it is. And I'm going to use the Becca highlight on a makeup shop, a T50. And put that on. I looked at my face and I was like, why do I look so mad? Like, this is not you, Erica. What is wrong with you, pendeja? And I'm also going to take that on a makeup shop T8 and put that in the inner corners. Now I can go do my hair. All right, guys. So this is the final look. Um, I'm actually not going to be wearing this shirt tonight, but I just threw it on because I don't know what to wear. And like, I'm being serious, guys. I didn't even take the freaking tag off. I don't know if you guys can like see it over here. I literally just threw it on just to like do the intro and the outro of this video. So you guys may see this shirt again. Uh, yeah, not on here, but on my Instagram. But like I said, guys, I just want to like film my outro and my intro. So I was like, bitch, we need to throw something on because if I were to, you know, try to pick an outfit out right now, my ass would take forever. So with that being said, this is the final look. Um, sorry, guys, it's like a few hairs like sticking out and it's annoying the crap out of me. But yeah, if you guys have not followed me on Instagram, please do so. It's MUA Erica 18 and makeup by Erica Rod. Uh, turn on your post notifications, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. I mean, if you're already here watching my video, like, why not subscribe? Unless you're just being, like, a chismosa. But yeah, just subscribe and let me know in the comments of what you guys thought about this look. Like, was it sultry enough for you or are you, like, a basic bitch? And I don't mean that in a bad way, but remember how I said I'm either full glam or I'm just ghetto and ugly? Yeah, this is my full glam. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.